this is starting to get a little too easy for me. So I'm uh, browsing the internet, and as usual, I find something interesting about the Wii U. Uh, another LinkedIn page. LinkedIn loves Dr. Trey. <laughs> you love Dr. Trey, don't you, LinkedIn? <laughs> anyway, so I uh, find somebody else's page on LinkedIn. Uh, this dude, he's the uh, ASIC, um, or was the AC, or ASIC, excuse me, uh, design engineer for AMD. Uh, see if I can pronounce this guy's name. Pavan Kumar Motasul. Motasul. I think that's how you say it. Um, yeah. Find this guy's page and uh, here, let me move this. Uh, found a couple interesting things about the uh, the Wii U's uh, graphics chip. First, something that a lot of people, a lot of sources or people with sources already hinted at before. Um, this graphics chip has been in development for a while. Now, I know a lot of people would like to think, a lot of Nintendo bashers would like to think, oh, yeah, you know, after the Wii wasn't doing so hot, they just had to come out with another system. <laughs> no, fail. In fact, this system, according to this page and other pages I've seen on LinkedIn of people that are either working on games for the Wii U or working on the Wii U's uh chips, CPUs, graphics chips. According to this guy's page, was working on the um, graphics chip from June 2009. Yeah, you know, 2009, you know, when the Wii was still doing pretty exceptional, all the way until April 2011, which is when the Project Cafe rumors broke out. Coincidence? I think not. So, what that part tells us is one graphics chip was worked on for two years straight roughly and two that most of the work on the graphics chip was done last april now what that means is the pretty much the final the the main uh Details of the graphics chip have already been decided, and since I guess last April they've just been, you know, playing with how much RAM it it's gonna have and playing with the clock speeds and make sure they don't overheat and stuff like that. Normal procedure for a graphics chip. Now, here's where things get a little interesting here. Looking at all the uh, technical jargon. Um, under what he lists for the Wii U, um, it looks like the graphics chip is going to be a COC design system on a chip. Oh, uh, a lot of people in the Neo Gaff, um, they were wondering if Nintendo would go that way, and looking at this dude's resume or whatever you want to call it on LinkedIn, um. Yeah, it is going to be a system uh, on a chip design, which is a first for Nintendo. Um, the Xbox 360 Slim now uses a, a system on a chip design. Um, so that's actually, that's actually good, because it means um, this thing isn't probably going to have any overheating problems at launch at all and it also lends to another um, uh, another rumor remember that rumor back way back uh, when it was uh, that rumor about the um, the Wii U having what was it seven seven hundred and sixty five or one gig of eDRAM and it was shared between the CPU and GPU yeah this is looking like that one might have been true. I'd still go with a gig. I think it's still gonna have over a gig, but looks like um, all of the eDRAM 
and all of the main memory is going to be shared between the uh, graphics chip and the CPU because they're going to be on the same chip. Hence the name system on a chip. It also proves what I was trying to tell you guys a couple months ago. Entirely new design, new chip. There wasn't any uh, um, 4000 series AMD chip to my knowledge, that was a system on the chip, especially with an IBM CPU. So then, yeah, there wasn't at all. So it's a brand new chip. Pretty good news. Pretty good news.